The last seconds before the start. There are three of them. So as I was saying before in the luge, you have to hit the very low at the start. The A button at the perfect timing at the center. Ah, another collision. Now, this is obviously a lot easier to do without lag, and I'm not going to talk about that. Um, now if you get a perfect start, which means you do get a few of The Bob is touching the boards a little roughly. If you get a perfect start, you get um, Jamaica. This Jamaica has a Bob's on team. Board slightly touched. Now, as as you'll see, you um, in the uh, in the and we're done. Oh, um, poor time. Disappointing. It was under a minute. How, how is that poor? It's good. A truly oh, great yeah, atmosphere at the start this, here today. I'm using Germany because they had the best bobsled team until two years ago when the USA had the a good performance design. already here at the start very high initial takeoff speed so with the um, the rings the intermediate time green, is excellent absolutely a very fast race up to now your meter goes up and if you get yellow it stays the same if you get red it goes down that's a clear improvement on the first round it is it's a lot but it's a uh, it's not a good improvement from the first intermediate time. Looking good. Um, when, you're going up the, when you're going up the walls, you want to lean up the wall and go down. The bomb touches the, the boards. That's not a major problem. Last four turns, you want to lean away from the wall and. Excellent result. Great teamwork. Everything went brilliantly, like didn't it? Uh, um, okay. So, this time I actually got first place, other than the last one, which I got last place, which puts me in third place, which is really happy, really good. And I only have to defeat Jerk now. Oh, um, so now we are going to be doing the biathlon, or biathlon, I should say. Now, if you get a perfect score on the biathlon, you get um. USA again, but because Ch uh, China. Welcome to the biathlon in Chisana San Sicario. We're using them. One of the most successful biathletes of all times is the Russian Alexander Tikhonov. Well, you know, the Russians have generally been very successful at the Olympic Games. Um. Very high speed now. Yes, but it could well be sapping her energy too soon. She may pay so, dearly for this when it comes to the shooting. Okay, so when I um, am choosing a country to do as the um, country for the LP for each sport, I try I try to use it from some fact. So, like downhill skiing in Switzerland, even though I don't think I did that, I think I did something else. But anyway, I. I I, I think it's South Korea for the, um, speed skating, but I did Great Britain because they're doing the Olympics this year. And, uh, stupid cable. Convincing um, speed. Yes, if she has enough reserves later on, she'll have a great race. Cable. Stupid, I... stupid cable. Um. Now, as you can hopefully see, if you can see. If you can't see, that's fine. But as you can see, there's a gun strapped to your back. There's a giant arrow so this is the pointing you in a direction. Um, that was a cutscene, actually. So I'm I'm gonna try to get um 100%. The first hits. one's a hit. I don't know how that was a hit. I don't know how that was a hit. The only problem is that in A, 
the Y axis is not inverted, so you have to go up to go up. It, it, it's very confusing for me since I usually have the Y axis inverted, and this game does not have Another an hit. option for that. Um, I, I've spent like 30 seconds on these targets. She now. takes to the course again without any fault. So I'm way behind. If you miss them, you get like a very ten good second performance. Penalty. Yes, high speed. If she can keep this pace until the finish, she'll be top ranking. Um, uh, another thing that I've never mentioned before is that ah, you can press the Y button she's unable to give it hundred percent anymore. And um, another thing that is actually related to real life with the Olympics and the biathlon and gun shooting and stuff, the higher your heart rate, or your heart beating rate thing, the harder it is to aim. Because you're all shaky and stuff. Now, oh, it'll be hard to make up for that loss of time. Um, when you are um, skiing, it brings up your heart rate. And the thing that I kind of don't like about this game is that when you are shooting and you have red down there for a higher heart rate. And now we have the second shooting section. It stays there. And it doesn't go down. So when you stand up, it is um, the standing position, which is a lot harder to aim in a precise manner than when you're in prone position, which is fault. pretty much having your gun stabilized perfectly so that it doesn't... Third miss already. Ever. Three misses. This level of lost time will certainly be hard to make up. So, since I have three misses, that is not good. Um, because I just lost like two minutes, actually in like 30 seconds or something like that. Or three misses, I mean, I, did I say two minutes? No, I said two minutes. I'm confusing myself. Um, this track actually goes in a giant circle. In the actual Olympics, the actual biathlons, if you miss, you don't actually, like, physically lose time. You have to go into a mistake circle, which is a penalty circle, and you have to go around as many times as you missed. Oh my goodness. Such a poor so, performance. That is all, and somehow that person got three... 53, 69. Good day.